everyone, so after many of you suggested that I watch Easy A, the 2010 film, I thought, I'm gonna watch it. To be honest, it's not at all what I thought it was about. Um, basically, it's about a girl called Olive, for those of you who haven't seen this, um, who tells her, her best friend that she slept with um, somebody, a college boy, just because her best friend was saying, you did, didn't you? You did, you did, you did, don't lie. So, Olive says, fine, I'll just say that I did, even though I didn't. And this rumour goes all around the school, and that's bad enough, you know, because in, in secondary school, in high school, a, a rumour like that can really change how people think about you. And then it starts to spiral very quickly. Not only do people think she's left with somebody, people think that she's selling herself for money. Oh, it's, it, it gets very out of control very quickly, which I think really does capture the essence of a typical high school, of a typical secondary school, and just how horrible it can be. Not all of them are like that. I think the one I went to was fairly okay, to be quite honest. Nobody really cared about anybody apart from themselves. I shouldn't say that, but it's the truth. And basically it's about all of getting deeper and deeper in this situation, and you're sitting there thinking, how far is this going to go? And about halfway, and this isn't a spoiler, because this is what pretty much the whole film is about, she starts to conform to this label. She turns herself into what everybody is saying that she is quite frankly, a, a slut. Um, and because she's reading the Scarlet Letter in English, she um, she stitches a, a red A onto all of her clothes, which I think is very creative and really gives the film a bit of an edge, because they could have done this film without that. But it really just gives it something else just to make it a little bit more interesting and a little bit more unique, and that is a quality that I completely admire in this film. Um, some of the characters in this are great. Um, Olive's best friend annoys me completely, but um, the character of Marianne, who is played by Amanda Bynes, is phenomenal. I'll be honest, I didn't even know Amanda Bynes was in this. She plays a character that is not what I would have expected if you would asked me what kind of... You know, normally Amanda Bynes, when I see her in films, plays the protagonist. And the protagonist is kind of the Olive-like character. Whereas Marianne is... Um, I think she was called in the film a Jesus freak or something like that, which is a term I completely hate because, you know, I am religious. I hate that. But that is what she's described as, you know, everything she says is biblical, everything she says, she says it for the Lord, that kind of thing. And as a character, that works really well. And although that doesn't contrast with Olive normally, it contrasts with this new idea of Olive. And I think that works very, very well. And you're kind of comparing the two characters. It's, it's very fascinating. Also, Mrs Griffith is played by Lisa Kudrow. I was like, I was looking through the IMDB cast list about two minutes before I sat down to watch the film and nearly screamed. I was reading it and I was like, okay, Emma Stone is Olive, that's good. Amanda Bynes, oh my goodness, is Marianne. Lisa Kudrow, what? This is the best film ever and I haven't even watched it. So I was very, very happy with that. This is the first thing I've seen Lisa Kudrow in where she is not playing a main part, even though her role is vital. Um, her, her role is vital in the development of the plot. She's obviously not at the centre of the plot. And it's really odd. This is also the most recent thing I've seen Lisa Kudrow do as well, which is very odd. I think I saw an episode of Web Therapy, but I wasn't paying any attention. So um, I'll, I'll re-watch that and review it at some point. But this is the most recent thing I've seen her do, so it's kind of weird to watch Phoebe. And there is no Phoebe in her there. Um, I have seen her. I have seen Lisa Kudrow do other roles other than Phoebe, but to me she always will be Phoebe. But in Mrs. Griffith, there is no Phoebe, which is something I, I love. You know, there's nothing worse than having an actress or an actor who has been in one role for many years, and then you can only see them as in that role. Um, so it, mainly the cast of Friends and uh, the cast of Sabrina, that's where it's a problem for me. But this is brilliant. Um, yeah, the fact that it's also told partly through video blogs, me being a YouTuber, is something I find very fascinating that Olive has told her story through video blogs, um, so she's kind of, um, it, it's basically all done in flashbacks with the occasional video blog. It's, it's very peculiarly done, very creative, and um, it's done very, very well, I think. Uh, little note, one, on one of the cue cards she holds up, there's a comma missing. Look out for it. Let me know if you spot it. Um, yeah, but this is absolutely brilliant. 15 certificate, so watch out if you're younger. But it's brilliant. Absolutely love it. Thank you to everybody who suggested that I watch it. I as soon as it finished, I thought, best film I've ever watched. Now, I'll be honest, I'm going to wait to upload a video in a couple of days, or tomorrow, or maybe even today, about a different film where I will genuinely say it's the best film I've ever seen. But until that film, this was one of the best I've ever seen. Absolutely love it. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!